Hey everyone, Joe here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to set up sidechain ducking and do a bit of EQing to help improve your audio and stuff with inside OBS as you stream. Now, this tutorial's purpose is to help make it so when you're speaking to your audience and stuff, they can better hear you by adding a little bit of sidechain ducking compression to your music and a little bit of EQing to take out the top end so that your voice becomes more clear. So it's a really great tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18 is a system optimization suite that takes care of the weak spots in every Windows machine. The program boosts performance, fixes system errors, and reduces file clutter. Don't miss my demo review of Win Optimizer 18. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. So I have OBS open up here recording OBS so I can show you how to set everything up. Now, a lot of times people uh, want to play music stuff during the streams. And that's because even the music in the game could be, you could get a copyright strike. That and a lot of times people just don't really care for the music, especially with fast paced shooter games or whatnot. People may want fast paced music to kind of reflect that. And also music kind of reflect their personal style and, and taste of music. That's perfectly fine. I know we're, a lot of times, a lot of streamers want to play music, and it makes it really hard to understand what they're saying. So a lot of times they'll be wanting to pull up and down the gain and stuff on the music as, as they're talking. So let me unmute my VLC here so you can hear the music in the background. And it should be played. Here we go. Yeah, so now it's playing and stuff. And let me get to a faster pace. That might sound okay, but really, even at negative 24 dB, this can be kind of challenging to be able to understand what the person's actually saying. Because if you really feel like the music is imposing on the uh, host or the streamers' uh, words and stuff as they're trying to speak. And if you really want to crank it up to negative 14 dB, yeah, this is. This is really hard to be able to understand what they're saying. All right. So, yeah, you can't just keep adjusting the volume stuff while you're trying to play because, well, you only have two hands. One's on the mouse, one's on the keyboard. And so there's a way around that, and that's with the audio ducking and plus a little bit of EQing to help you know, further push that music into the background so it's nice for it to be there, but it's not imposing on you. Okay. So we unmute this. And the first thing we need to do is go down here to VLC and go filters. Okay, I'm gonna put mine back to 24 as it's starting to play. And I want to add a compressor, okay? This is the built-in compressor with inside VLC. All right, the compression ratio of 10 to one right here is perfectly fine, I leave that as threshold. I actually prefer a negative 32. Let's pull that down to negative 32 there. If you want, you can just dial it in, negative three, two, which I prefer to do. However, let me uh, turn up the music a little bit louder here. As you can hear me speaking and stuff, this isn't doing anything yet, okay? Go down here to where it says mixer mic, which is my microphone. You'll want to find your microphone in your audio source list in the box. And there you go. When you start speaking, as you'll notice, it does push it down quite a bit. Because now it's actually in side chain ducking mode. All right. The attack here may be a little too fast, and the release may be also be too fast to you. Me personally, I prefer them a little bit slower. It makes it sound more natural. Okay. So let's pull this over to 250 milliseconds, which is a quarter of a second. Ah, that's close enough. And the release, I want it 1,000 milliseconds, which is a full second. And this actually, get, to me, gives a little better, uh, you know, more natural feel to the, uh, the gain going up and down. So let me fast forward this. To Here we go. So now you can hear me when I'm speaking a lot more clear. And this is with the uh, gain set at negative 14 dB for his music in the background. So when you be, you're not talking, 
you can actually just sit back and listen to music. And look, I'm not even having to touch anything to make the audio do that. Now, this is the first thing you do. The second thing you do is actually cut down a lot of the high end of the music, uh, starting about midways around 750 megahertz on up with an EQ. All right, so let me add a VST plug in here. Let's open that up. And I want to choose, well, I'm actually going to choose uh, TDR Voss Slick EQ Gentleman's Edition. Now, you probably don't have this installed. Uh, you can use the free version. There isn't much difference uh, between the free version and a Gentleman's Edition, uh, except the free version, you can do everything that I'm just going to show you here. And if you watched my other video on how to set up your mic to get this great broadcast sound audio, then you already have it installed. And this video is basically the second part to that one. So I want to use Gentleman's Edition just because it has a little visualizer. I can show you what's going on, but the free version doesn't. That's the only difference. So that says don't dwell too far into the hat. And we'll just open up the plug in here. So let me hide this. I'm going to open up the display because this helps me better illustrate what's going on with music here. All right, turn off the low and mid. We don't need those. And let's take the frequency knob here and I'm gonna press the control key so it can help adjust a little bit better. And I'm gonna pull that down to 750 uh, hertz here. That's where I want it to actually cu start cutting out the, uh, the highs and stuff. Now, I am going to leave it on the shell filter. That's the one on top, the one below it is the bell. And I want to pull this one down you can go negative 3 dB. It really depends on your personal taste. But that's going to help start taking out that you know, top end. But if you really want to push it down on further down, say next uh, negative 6 dB, which I personally wouldn't go no lower. This is really going to help you uh, take out that top end. So let me fast forward this music again. And let me bypass this. you can hear that much higher end and with the EQ on it keeps a lot more of that top end pushed down so when you do speak it also helps uh, make it more clear for you uh, speaking so anyway hope that helps everybody you know this is what I actually do to my streams and stuff to get my, to make my music you know nice and smooth in the background and keep it in the background without uh, imposing on my spoken words and stuff while I'm speaking to everybody in the stream. So anyway, hope you like this tutorial. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, how about give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up is always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. Let you know when I release more videos. And if you're not a member of our Discord channel yet, links for it down in the description below, and I hope to see you on our Discord server. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.